Hello, welcome to Children's Church for Sunday, November 1st. The Lord be with you and also with you. We're going to start today by singing Our God is So Big. We're going to do, let's do a polar bear, and then a dolphin, and a caterpillar. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the stars, he made the seas, he made the polar bears to roar. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the stars, he made the seas, he made the dolphins too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the stars, he made the seas, he made the caterpillars too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. We're just going to sing, Oh God, we adore you. Oh God, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. Oh, how we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. Oh, how we love you. Spirit, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. Oh, how we love you. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. We sing this story to get ready to listen to a story of God. When we are in our room, we sit crisscross applesauce in a semicircle, but you may have a special place at your home that you sit, um, or a special chair that you sit in, or a special place that you sit. So we sit crisscross applesauce, our hands are in our laps, our mouths are closed and still, our ears are open and listening, and our eyes are open and watching. Sometimes it's very hard to tell what time it is. There are all kinds of time. I wonder how the church tells time. Some say time is a line. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. But this could be the beginning and this could be the end, or this could be the beginning and this could be the end. It's hard to tell beginnings and endings when time is in a line. Let's take the beginning that could be an ending and the ending that could be a beginning and tie them together. Now the ending is the beginning and the beginning is the ending. This is how the church tells time. This is the church year puzzle. It can show us how the church tells time. First, we have the three special days. Here is Easter. Here is Christmas. And here is, ouch! It's hot like fire. This is Pentecost. These are all the purple Sundays. And these are all the white Sundays. And then these are all the green Sundays. Oh 
as you can see, we have a whole bunch of green sundaes. Hmm. Now let's see if we can put the church year puzzle together. Let's begin with Christmas. It goes about here. And Easter, it goes by here. And Pentecost, it goes about here. Christmas is the special day we celebrate the birth of Jesus and how the mystery and the mystery of how God became a person. Christmas is so special. It takes us four Sundays to get ready. We call this time Advent. The color for them getting the color for getting ready is purple. So we need four purple Sundays. But where do we put them? Advent tells the beginning of the new church year and the ending of the old one. So let's put four purple Sundays right here. At the beginning, that's an ending, and the ending, that's a beginning. One, two, three, Easter is the time we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died but is still with us. Easter is so special, it takes six Sundays to get ready. We are missing a purple block, so we have a pretend purple one as well. Purple is the color of getting ready, so let's put six purple Sundays before Easter. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We are so happy that Jesus is alive. We celebrate Easter for six Sundays. The color of Easter is white. So let's put six more Sundays after Easter. One, two, three, four, five, and six. They go to Pentecost. The day God gave the Holy Spirit so the church could say and do the amazing things that Jesus did. Now we just have the green Sundays left. They connect Christmas time and the Easter time. The most we can have here is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the rest to go after Pentecost. There's a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20. words help us with the names of the church time. This is Advent. The time when the church gets ready to celebrate Christmas. This is Epiphany. 
the time when the church celebrates how God is known to the whole world. This is Lent. The time the church gets ready to celebrate the mystery of Easter. This is Easter. The time the church celebrates the mystery that Jesus died but is still with us. And this is Pentecost, sometimes called ordinary time. The time the church celebrates God's gift of the Holy Spirit to the church. These markers point to the three great days. Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost. In our video in just a minute, you will see the big circle of the church year calendar on the wall. And it helps us tell the church time. Today we are here. We are four Sundays away from the beginning that's an ending and the ending that's a beginning. We would start our church calendar over again. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as we hear the word of God. Our story today comes from the book of Leviticus, which is at the very beginning of the Bible. Chapter 23, verses 1 through 3. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the Israelites and say to them, these are my appointed feasts, the appointed feast of the Lord, which you are to proclaim as sacred assemblies. There are six days when you may work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest, a day of sacred assembly. You are not to do any work wherever you live. It is a Sabbath to the Lord. It is now time to give our thanks and praise to God. You can say something you're thankful for about the, about the story or something you're thankful for about thankful for that happened this week or if you're worried or sad about something too you can share it as well. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let us pray. God, thank you for cooler weather, for an extra hour of sleep this week. And thank you for the beautiful time that we get to have as we head into the holiday season. Help us to stay mindful about what these holidays are really about. Help all those who are sick, be it in body or in spirit. Help our families as we try to find creative ways to come together during this really crazy season and help keep everyone safe. We pray for our country. We thank you for our country. We pray that people make smart decisions and that our leaders will be good leaders. Amen. I'm now going to change the light. Look, the light is in one place at one time, but I'm going to change it so it is in many places at many times. The light that was in one place at one time is now in many places at many times. So the light and the love of Jesus may be with you in this room and while you're watching this video and anywhere you go throughout the week. Amen. See you next time, guys.